Many great ideas and goals are being expressed by the Division of Tourism, Culture, Antiquities and Transportation, as well as the Tobago Tourism Agency Limited. But can the accommodation sector do its part to fulfill those ideas and goals? Well, the president of the Tobago Hotel and Tourism Association, Alpha Lord, says realism and focus are missing from the ideas and goals. In part two of the realities of Tobago's tourism industry, senior reporter Candace Jackson explores the realities the accommodation sector faces in achieving these goals. While the tourism division and TTAL are busy marketing Tobago to the world, the accommodation sector is struggling to meet the expectations promised to prospective visitors. Tobago's tourism reached its peak in 2005 with over 80,000 international visitors. Since then, arrivals have declined drastically to just over 20,000. According to Alpha Lord, president of the Tobago Hotel and Tourism Association, these low figures have burdened the accommodation sector, making improvements difficult and then you have hoteliers again who because of the downturn and the, the business for so long just cannot afford to say take their property to the next level where Grenada is taking some of their properties to where Barbados have done where Jamaica is doing um, so it's kind of uh, how is it? Chicken and egg situation. Lord explained that for several years, the accommodation sector has wrestled with the need to improve the quality of service they can provide to guests while being able to sustain their businesses. Do I make the investment and wait for these arrivals that never come, right? Or the arrivals come and then we say we're going to make the investment but then they're not happy with the quality of the product and they say but we're not coming back. While Lord appreciates the invigorated efforts of the THA and TTAL to market Tobago, he called on them to be realistic about the challenges faced in the tourism industry. He believes that by focusing marketing efforts in collaboration with stakeholders, everyone can be satisfied with the results. It's immediate attention right now. I think the THA and TTAL needs to create a, a, a very clear laser-like stated focus on what they want for tourism for Tobago. And I think if that is clearly articulated, we understand it. Like, there's the, f the five objectives for this year, for next year, there's the objectives. The association could get behind supporting it. Lord explained that the association is willing to support the efforts of the THA as much as they can. But they prefer these efforts be realistically achievable. For instance, the THA and the Ministry of Tourism frequently voice the need for tourism businesses to align their delivery of services with technology. However, Lord explains that embracing technology becomes becomes difficult in situations like the one a few months ago when Mount Irvin Bay Resort was without internet for almost a week. This is especially true in a situation where property management systems are moving from server-based platforms to cloud-based servers. So if I was running a cloud-based property management system at a point in time, I would have no access to my PMS for five days. Like, that's unheard of, that's madness. I should be able to easily default to a second provider. In part three of the realities of Tobago's tourism industry, the destination's ideal visitor arrivals and carrying capacity will be explored. Candace Jackson, Tobago Updates, Television News.